All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to settings. And of course, you can get that from the home screen. Home screen, you just bloom. Bring up the home screen, you hit settings. Okay. Then you go to update. You go to four developers. And you make sure developer mode is turned on. Uh, here you can also pair a device. Like I have a, a keyboard paired. And you can enable remote management of this device from a browser for a device portal. Um, so you can uh, do that as well. And then you can actually go to a web browser and go to the IP address. Okay. Then you can bring up this app here, the Microsoft HoloLens uh, application for the Windows Store. And you'll actually see what your IP address is for the HoloLens. And you can use that in that web uh, app we're just talking about in settings. And also, inside of Visual Studio then, you can actually go up here to your remote machine and select that. And the first time you do, you'll actually uh, at, say, hey, it's not set up for anything. Or you can right click on your project and say properties. And it'll bring up this one to here, the debugging guy. And this machine name will be blank. And you just simply type in that IP address. And you can change the uh, authentication to unencrypted. And once you do, it will actually let you deploy to the device. So right here, if, if I run this on my local machine, so I run this locally, it's just a an app that lets me kind of resize and it changes the uh, canvas into the middle, depending on what size I am. Okay. Um, and I can draw on this. Okay. And it has a little split split view. Most of these things are not hooked up. I do have full screen hooked up. Okay. Um, and I can hit new to actually bring up a uh, a new canvas. All right. So that is that. Um, so I'm exit out of here. And now we're going to. Uh, I'm going to jump over to this, select this, go to my live stream. Uh, but actually, before I go to my live stream, let me show you uh, back over here. <clears throat> and I'm going to change this back from local machine to remote machine. And hit run. And once I do that, you'll see down here is deploying. And you'll start seeing it's copying files. Okay, so it's deploying, and now I'm gonna jump over to my uh, other screen that's streaming uh, my HoloLens, and you see this fixed layout app, uh, which is just a stripped-down version of my finger painting app uh, that I made for for Windows 8 originally, and in the process of updating it for Windows 10. Um, you see it's on here now. You know, so I can go over here and actually tap that tap that guy and make you know the stuff come out and hit full screen um, and nothing's going to happen because it already is full screen um, so it kind of runs in what it's considered full screen now I don't actually have my drawing stuff will come to this uh, yet um, so for this demo it doesn't matter I just wanted to show you like I can I mean I can kind of fake it a little bit by uh, making you think I'm doing a scroll so I can kind of click on it do the scroll and now I can start drawing just a little bit. All right. So uh, that's obviously wouldn't be the the way you would actually want to make the app. Uh, but this isn't about making a uh, finger painting app uh, for the HoloLens, although I do hope to get there. Uh, this is just about deploying an app, a regular Windows 10 app, 2D app, if you will, to the HoloLens. And I can hit new and it'll clear that out. Okay. So hopefully that was beneficial now I'm not going to go through the whole process again uh, but if you hook up your device hook up your HoloLens to your machine through the USB so the way that you charge it if you will uh, hook it into your USB port you can then actually just select device okay and it will deploy it uh, to that device so um, it depends on if you're already hooking it up there to charge it or something like that you can go that route or again you do the remote machine like I was showing before and when you do that the first time and you've never set that IP address, it'll bring up the dialog box. Um, but if you set it and you want to change it, um, you can just right click on the project, go to properties, 
and that's where you get that screen. So under here, under debugging, okay? So hopefully that was helpful. I would really appreciate if you could drop a comment and let me know if you liked it or if you were confused about something or if you think I should go into further detail on something. Okay, thanks.